The patients mean to me so much. I mean, we hear their stories and the things that they go through throughout their cancer treatment. It's so humbling and they are just so courageous. It's very inspiring to me. I have family members that have been touched by cancer and so I know what it's like to be a caregiver and any way that I can be part of the solution or to give someone hope or to help them guide them along the process, that's just extremely important to me, not only for them, but it's rewarding for myself. The most beautiful people we have known are those who have known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, known loss, and have found their way out of the depths. These persons have an appreciation and a sensitivity and an understanding of life that fills them with compassion, gentleness, and deep loving concern. Beautiful people do not just happen. And in my 14 years here as a radiation therapist, I feel like I've seen and met so many special people and this really hit home for me. It's, it's why I do this every day and why I will do this for my whole career, I'm sure. My patients had a reason why I come to work. That's why I get up every morning. Cannot wait to come to work. That's why I've been doing it for over four decades. One of the happiest times in my life when I can tell patients there's no evidence of cancer. It means a lot to me. You're stronger than you ever know and you've proven to be tougher than you ever thought you could be. And we are here to support you. Even though you're done with your cancer treatments, we are here for you. Congratulations to you. I uh, share with you in the excitement of your success. As we've shared with you in the journey of getting you through your cancer care, it, uh, it feels amazing to be able to share in the celebration of your survivorship. I know the whole cancer care process can seem incredibly daunting and even scary at times, but I want you to understand that this is a process that we're helping you get through. We're holding your hand through the entire process to make sure that you have the best possible experience and also, most importantly, to have the best possible outcomes as well. There's a quote that I love and it says, the human spirit is stronger than anything that can happen to it. And I think this is so powerful and can help cancer survivors move forward with their journey. My message to the survivors that lived through cancer, beat it, is don't block this part of your memory. Don't forget it. Keep it alive with a message to help others. Make it a positive enforcement to keep fighting cancer. What I've learned being a cancer survivor is that you're not alone. Cancer is something that nobody wants to hear, um, but it doesn't define you or make you who you are. It just puts you on a different path. And that path that it put me on was to learn that I had to take one day at a time and appreciate everything that I had. It was a big journey. So I'm different because, you know, I had a three-year-old and I, like, wow, like, what am I gonna do? How, like, I had to live for him. That was in my head. I had to live, I had to fight this for him. And he is my inspiration. He told me, you completed your journey, mom. You made it. And I thank him for being my angel by my side. When you get hit in the face with a cancer diagnosis, um, everything changes, everything. And you find faith you didn't know you had. Um, you find best friends you didn't know you had that have been out there for many years. Um, you find so much more meaning in simple things. And it's important to take the time you need for yourself and when the time is right, thank the people that helped you along the way. It's a scary process because you don't know what, you don't know the process. And once you started into it, they explained everything. They worked hand in hand with me. They made you feel relaxed. It gave me confidence that they knew what they were doing to stay positive. And if you have, uh, the more people that you have to be around you and to help you and just know what you're going through, um, it'll be easier. I never doubted that I would um, make it through. It might not have been exactly how I wanted to do it, but um, I had no doubt that um, I was getting the best care that I could possibly get. And my family has always been there 
uh, surrounding. But just to say that they can do it, you are strong and You never know how strong you are. When we started this journey, and I say we because my wife is a part of that, I told her, I wanna be that guy when I walk into the room, I don't care which doctor's office it is, that when I walk into the room, they go, oh, Dave's here. They're excited about seeing me. And I would just say, if you're walking that walk, that journey, go into it with a positive attitude about what the outcome's going to be and the people that are treating you. You know, I just love every one of them. And you're doing a tremendous job. Keep pressing on, keep working through the troubles because you are critical to the survival of so many people.